Merchandise Financial Planning, Chapter 1, Session 5, Other Inventory Adjustments. From the last couple sessions, we covered the balance set and talked about various metrics that decrease your inventory. Sales, for example, decreases your inventory. Other metrics that decrease your inventory are returned to vendors due to damaged goods or inventory transfers. These are typically not planned. They are usually updated with actual data from your merchandising system. I want to mention them because these actual feeds affect your balance set and will decrease your ending inventory. Shrink is another metric that negatively impacts your balance set. Shrink is a loss of inventory that can be contributed to different factors such as clerical or theft. Regardless of what the factor is, it ultimately is a loss of profits. Typically, retailers will plan a shrink expectation or a shrink rate. Your planner can plan this at a season or year level based on history. When you update the shrink dollars in the plan, it reduces your closing inventory. Shrink dollars also have the inverse rule we discussed in the last session. You can plan a shrink dollar, your sales will hold, then the shrink percent will calculate. Alternatively, you can plan your sales plan, the shrink rate will hold, and the shrink dollars will calculate. Here's an example of how to calculate your shrink. We have a full season sales plan by month. We know the acceptable shrink rate for this company is 3%. So we calculate our sales times our shrink rate to get what our shrink dollars are. You can do it by the individual month as you can see within the chart where month one is a $15,000 sales plan. 3% shrink rate means our sales times our 3% is $450. Or you can take your seasonal total in sales times the 3% to get your total seasonal shrink dollars will be.